friends, I'm Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today, we're gonna be making our very own DIY hair mask. Now, for my loyal subscribers, you guys know that last year I started a deep conditioning challenge where I challenge you guys to do a hair mask or deep conditioning treatment once a week, every single week for a full year. And then you guys showed me your results, and they were amazing. Now, if you missed that challenge, it doesn't expire, you could still continue to do that and or start this year. And I'm gonna help you guys out because I'm getting a lot of excuses about not being able to find a deep conditioner, they're too expensive, they're not sold where you live. Well, if we make one, we're gonna cut out half of those excuses. And this mask that we're gonna make today is also going to help with hair growth. So for those of you that have already committed to my Big Chop Challenge, I know you want them inches and you want them fast. It is gonna take some time, but using masks like this will help. So let's go ahead and get started. Let me show you my weapon of choice, which is aloe vera. You guys have seen me use aloe vera on my channel, but on my skin, when I did my aloe vera challenge on my face, wearing it every day as a mask, I made aloe vera ice cubes and rubbed the ice on my face every week, and I got some very interesting results. But it's only right, since I have a hair channel, to do a hair mask. Now the first thing you're gonna need, obviously, is an aloe vera leaf. This was left over from my face mask and I thought I should use it before it goes bad. I've been keeping it in the fridge, that does help. But I got this at Whole Foods and it was about $2. Now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna cut off this big, ugly, chunky white part right here. If you are not old enough to be using a knife, don't have one of your parents help you. Voila. And now we're gonna cut them into little chunks. Aloe vera promotes hair growth, prevents itchiness on the scalp, and reduces dandruff. So now when you cut it open, you'll see the aloe vera inside, and that's everything that we're gonna wanna use. And I'm gonna cut off these side pieces, and we're gonna cut off the spikes. Aloe vera has a lot of benefits for your skin and your hair. When it comes to your hair, it's really good to help repair all the dead skin cells on your scalp, and it also acts as a great conditioner. It leaves your hair very smooth and shiny. Now to chop this up, I will be using a food processor. You could use like a Nutribullet, Magic Bullet, Little Blender, whatever you guys have. And I'm gonna cut off this excess skin. Gently. And then I'm gonna scrape out all the aloe vera. So there is all the aloe vera, full of all the nutrients that our hair needs. And we're gonna keep doing this for every piece. Okay, I think we've got all the aloe vera we need. Now to add to our mask, I'm gonna be using some olive oil. This is 100% pure olive oil. You could use extra virgin olive oil. And I'm gonna use three tablespoons of this. Olive oil is another oil that's great for hair growth. Olive oil will help repair damaged hair, prevent dandruff, fungus, and any other scalp issues that lead to flakiness or dry scalp. And now I'm also gonna add a little bit of some Jamaican black castor oil. This is with shea butter, this is by Proclaim. And this is really good to help with hair growth as well, especially for those edges. And I'm gonna do one tablespoon of this. All right, now we're going to put on the top and mix it all up. So now I wanna separate the actual aloe vera gel from the other little pieces in there. So in order to do this, I'm gonna use a measuring cup. And then you're gonna to have to go to like a shoe store and steal, I mean, borrow one of those little like socks that they give you to try on shoes. You could buy a nylon. I had a really hard time finding tights that were like thin like this and affordable. So yeah, just go to a shoe store try on some shoes if it makes you feel better and use one of these little socks that they give you. So I'm gonna put this all around and I'm gonna pour in my concoction and we're gonna strain it. You could use a nylon or you also could get, if you have like the cheesecloth or a strainer. All right, and this is where it gets pretty messy. So it's already separating through the nylon, which is what we want, and then you're just gonna squeeze out all the remaining gel. Oh yeah. 
that's what we want. That way the larger chunks will stay in the nylon. All right, that seems good enough. Here is all the excess aloe vera that we're not gonna use. And now we have our perfect little mix. So you can see it's a little watery, but just enough hold to where it's gonna be easy to apply. Now this is my first time adding oils to it, and I do see that the oils are separating from the aloe vera. So you could use the aloe vera first and then add your oil second if you want, but at the end of the day, they're all going the same place. Okay, now at this point, it would be best to put it in a bottle with a nozzle, something like this, but I don't have one. I'm trying to use everything in-house to make it very DIY. So I do have these little travel size containers that I use when I travel. So I'm just gonna put it up in here. This might be perfect. Not bad. And there you go. Your own DIY hair mask. So now let me actually apply this to my hair. Now all the videos I watched, a lot of people like to use it either as a pre-poo or a hair mask and they're always applying it on dry hair and then detangling with a mask. Now I personally like to always apply my hair mask after my hair has been cleansed and I condition and detangle. That way there isn't any dirt or product buildup on my scalp or my hair. It's clean and it's already detangled and I thought that's just an easier way to apply the mask. So I'm going to shake this up a little bit trying to get that oil to cooperate. And this is really good for your scalp so I'm going to start it right on the scalp. And here we go, making messes. <laughs> I guess I should section my hair. You guys know I'm not so good at sectioning. Let's really rub it in there so our hair is nice and shiny. more on my scalp since that's where our hair grows from that's very important in the front of my edges oh yeah now I'm gonna give myself a nice little scalp massage all right so I used almost my full bottle I think my hair is completely saturated in my aloe vera and my oils now I'm gonna put this up in a way and let it sit for at least 20 to 30 minutes. Grabbing just a plastic shower cap, this is gonna help retain that moisture. And since we are doing everything DIY, I know not all of you have a thermal hair care heat cap, which looks like this. You throw it in the microwave and it retains the heat. That way when you put it on your hair, it kind of opens up your hair shafts, allowing all the product to really penetrate your hair. I'll put the link below if you guys look and get one of these, but if you don't have one of these, what you could do is just grab a blow dryer. I personally prefer the heat cap, that way I can walk around, I'm not stuck to a plug, but if you absolutely can't get one, you could use your blow dryer and just blow it all around your hair while you have on your shower cap. After leaving it on for maybe a good hour, actually, I got a little sidetracked, but you know, it's all good. And this is how my hair looks now. So on the top, I noticed it's so shiny. Definitely more like plump and moisturized than when I first started. I'll show you a little before and after photo. This is how my hair was right before my treatment. Just wet, no product. And this is how it looks now after using the treatment. It's shiny. The smell is not there, which I'm glad because I wasn't really a fan of the aloe vera or the Jamaican black castor oil smell. So water was able to kind of like rinse that out. It didn't have a lingering smell. But at this point, I'm going to add my stylers, come back and show you the final results. So now I'm back after I applied my products, but it's still drying. So I'm gonna have to come back tomorrow and show you the finished results. And I'm back, it is now day two because my hair just takes so long to dry. But now that I've styled it, fluffed it out, I think it looks amazing. Using that mask made my hair so shiny and I really feel like if I continue to use this once a week, I will see significant hair growth and probably a healthier scalp. So now I don't wanna hear any excuses for why you can't deep condition 
once a week. Stick to your deep conditioning challenge. If you just did my big chop challenge, I'm so proud of you. We're gonna get those curls back and popping, but you gotta commit to using things on your hair that's gonna benefit them and make it grow. And now you have an easy, affordable DIY hair mask to do at home with some aloe vera, some olive oil, and some essential oils. Feel free to experiment with jojoba oil, Jamaica black castor oil, lavender oil, coconut oil. Some people add avocado, banana. There's so many different ways to do a DIY mask. Do your research, make one, and see what works best for your hair. And don't get crazy if you put in things that you just like, like, you know, barbecue sauce and tuna. But, uh, you know, if it's beneficial to your hair, throw it in there. If you enjoy my DIY videos, I hope you give me a thumbs up and subscribe and hit that little bell so you're notified as soon as I post a new video. I'm posting videos every week, people, Fridays and Sundays. And if you follow me on Instagram at Ms. Bianca Renee, you get little daily tips on the daily. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.